like, hey, we'll need some help solving this creepy mystery. Like, how about typing in your name before we start? Tacular. Sp spook, spook, tacular. Together, nothing to be afraid of. This must be it. Gadzooks! I found it! This is it, gang. We made it. Groovy. The Great Pyramid. That's where we're headed. I promised my cousin Thelma would meet her at the entrance. Take a look at this picture she sent me. Wow, you two look a lot alike. She's a dinkly, all right. Like what is your cousin doing in Egypt? Yeah. She's an Egyptologist, Shaggy. She studies the ancient culture and artifacts of the Old and Middle Kingdoms. Huh? Why could you say that again, in English? What Velma means is, she solves mysteries about history. Like, why didn't she say so? Let's get down there, everybody. We've got promises to keep. And cheeseburgers to eat before we sleep. <laughs> There's the entrance. Let's get going. Mommy! Like, let's get out of here! Wait! We can't leave. My cousin Thelma is supposed to be in the pyramid. She's right. We have to find her. Plus, it looks like we've got a mystery to solve. Let's go. That pyramid is a house of mystery. Oh, yeah, and mummies. Let's take it along. It could come in handy. Come on, gang. We have some exploring to do. And a mystery to solve. Looks like we found the center of town, gang. Well, I'm lovely. Like maybe we can find some delicious kashari. We're looking for clues, Shaggy, not lunch. Huh? Like, can't we look for both? Let's check around. It looks like there's a lot to do here. Food. Food. <laughs> Glorious food. Like we've hit the jackpot. Do you have any cash on you, Scoob? Ah! Ah! Well, zoinks! Those screwy birds are messing up our meal. Uh -oh. Like we've got to stop them. Scooby Doo to the rescue! Good gracious, my friends! This will be tricky. Move Scooby left and right with the mouse. Try and catch as much food as you can, but watch out for the birds. Well done! Groovy! Very good! Grand! Great! Congratulations! Well done! Groovy! Very good! Grand! Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. Whoa, 
boy, that sure is a weird market thing. You mean bizarre? I'll say. Uh -oh. Like, forget it. I'm not going over there. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? I think we have one left. Let's move, gang. Well, gang, we've got a mystery to solve. Like, let's solve it before dinner. I'm starved! We'd better keep looking. Welcome, my friends. I wish to offer you all the charms of ancient Egypt. May I interest you in a scepter or a magical hedgehog? Uh, no, thank you. Or perhaps uh, this Egyptian flute. Its tooth is uncommon. We're looking for our friend Thelma. Uh, who are you? I, my intrepid investigators, am Joseph. I am a purveyor of quality merchandise and quality information. Flashlight? It sure is, Scoob. It's a flashlight shaped like a pyramid. Hey, can we borrow this, Joseph? We're always creeping around dark places. Of course, my friends. And please, visit me here as often as you like. Or come visit me in the bazaar, and I'll show you my wares. Ma el salam. That means goodbye. Jeepers! Where did he go? I have no idea. We'd better keep looking. Let's go! Here we go! Like that big old sphinx sure is creepy! Like wow! That sure is a big groovy cat! Cat? Where? It's a sphinx! Half man, half lion. Scholars say it's the image of the ancient pharaoh Khafra. Like he must have had a hard time buying pants! Jinkies! Tracks! I wonder where they lead. Like I wonder what's behind this crazy cat. Crazy mouse? <laughs> Look, these tracks lead right into the back of the Sphinx. The tracks just disappear into the wall. There must be an opening of some kind. Like I hope not. This Sphinx is creeping me out. What are you doing? Leave that alone. Sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for a way inside. Inside the Sphinx? Yes. Look at those tracks. They disappear into solid rock. Great galaxies! You are right! Slippery saucers! Where are my manners? Greetings, fellow Earthlings. I'm Starry Skies, UFO investigator extraordinaire. And who are you? I'm Fred, and this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. We're investigators, too. We solve mysteries. Well, cloak me in rings and call me Saturn. What brings you to the Sphinx? We're searching for the mummy. I've been searching for him, too. Maybe I can help you. But first, I need you to help me. I'm having trouble with my mini computer. You need to put the objects in order, from tallest to shortest. Grab the objects with your mouse and drag them to the correct spot. When you're done, press the button. Now I can help you find this alien mummy. What's all this talk about aliens? There isn't any such thing. Is there, Shaggy? No comment. I think these pyramids are full of aliens, and the mummy just might be one of them. 
creeping comets. That reminds me. Here's something that might help you. I found it in the bazaar. Suspects and clues. Who likes aliens enough to have a honk if you're from Mars bumper sticker? Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. Let's have another look at the front of the Sphinx. Come on, gang, let's keep moving. Good thinking, Fred. We've got a mystery to solve. There's nothing here. Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Come on, gang. Let's go back the way we came. Come on, gang. Let's go back the way we came. Sure, I'd love some lemonade. Me too. I didn't say lemonade. Sure, I'd love a ham sandwich. Boy, that old Sphinx sure is mysterious. Yeah, did you see the way it was smiling at me? Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. The Great Pyramid. Let's go take a look. This looks like the entrance to the pyramid. We should go in. My cousin Thelma might be in there. Yes, this is where she was supposed to meet us. <laughs> uh -oh. Like we're not going in there. Uh-uh. Like there is no way we're going in there. Would you do it for four Scooby Snacks? On fourth thought, there's nothing to be afraid of. Into the pyramid we go. Oh, boy. Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. This sure is a creepy corridor. Corn dogs? Sorry, Scoob. I don't see a corn dog stand anywhere. It's like a big stone house. Don't forget, it's also a tomb. This is where the pharaohs were buried. Let's check out some of these doors. Disappeared. Come on, we gotta find her. We've gotta find Daphne. I'll look over here. No Daphne in here. I gotta keep looking. It's a notebook, like a journal. It belongs to Velma's cousin. The Archaeological Journal of Thelma Dinkley. According to this, she was chasing the mummy too. Boy, I sure hope Thelma's all right. Come on, boys. Let's look over here. Mummies? This must be the king's chamber. It's got more mummies than a piano recital. Jinkies, where did you come from? I often do, uh, research in the pyramid. I am an art historian. My name is Helmut Pith. Helmut Pith? From the University of East Prussia. What's that you're holding? Ah, this is an Ushabti from the Pharaoh's tomb. Very fine and very rare. They represent the Pharaoh's servants in the afterlife. Like, isn't the pharaoh going to be a little short-handed if you keep sticking his servants in your pocket? Say, who are you? And why do you ask so many questions? We're looking for our friend Daphne. She's disappeared. I'll help you find your friend, but first you must help me. I'm missing a green jade ushabti. You must find it for me. We'll do our best. Come on, gang. We better hurry. Well done, my new friends. You have proven yourself to be most intrepid explorers. Take this. I found it in the pyramid. It might be useful. Suspects and clues. Look, a We're Not in Kansas Anymore t-shirt. 
Most folks around here weren't in Kansas to begin with. Most folks. Look at this ancient sarcophagus. There seems to be something missing. Something shaped like a woman. Like what a groovy coffin. I wonder what goes in this space. Jeez! <laughs> it's a staircase. Let's check it out. Like where did Helmet go? Yeah, Helmet! The noise must have scared him off. Come on, guys. Let's see what's down here. We should check out this gloomy secret passage. Ooh, great! A gloom with a view! Shaggy? Scooby? Daphne? Ravni? Zoinks! Look out! Ah! Help! Help! Ah! Oh, mommy! Oh, mommy! This way! Stop! Ah! He's right behind oh, us! Mommy! Look out! Ah! Like this is no time for jewelry collecting, Scoob. Only half. You're right, old buddy. It's a medallion. It looks like half of a scarab. <laughs> Shaggy! Scooby! No brakes! Look out! <laughs> Fred! Velma! Jeepers! Am I ever glad to see you! It's Daphne! Where did you guys find her? Like, we didn't so much find her as... We bumped into each other. Where were you? That torch on the wall opened up the door to a secret passageway. This place must be full of secret passageways. That must be how the mummy gets around. Let's move, gang. Let's keep moving. Remember, things aren't always what they seem. This is starting to look familiar. It looks like we're heading back into town. Hungry? Like, could we eat this time? Maybe this couple would like to talk. Come on, clues first, then food. Oh! Yep, it's a scorcher. <laughs> the old songs remind me of happier times. Hmm, let's order a root beer. My treat. You look just like the young lady that was showing us around. You mean my cousin Thelma? You've seen her? Well, now, I believe that was her name, yes. She was supposed to meet us at the Sphinx yesterday, but never showed up. Darndest thing. She seems so sweet and all. We're from Kansas, you see. Yes, we're tourists. <laughs> like, no kidding. And she was kind enough to show us some sights. Wonder where she wandered off to. So do we. It's our anniversary! 32 years just flew by, <laughs> I'll tell you what. And we can't remember the tune to the song we used to dance to. Trying to figure it out on these bottles. Can you give us a hand? I'll play the notes on these bottles. First one, then two, then more. See if you can match what I play. Oh. 
Hooray! That's it! Thank you so much! Thank you ever so much! Such a pretty tune! Here, we want you to have this. Maybe it will help you find your cousin. Suspects and clues! A map of the Nile? Looks like some sailor lost their navigating tool. Looks like we found a clue. Napkin! Forget about napkins! I want some food! Well, I'll take it along. With you two around, it's bound to come in handy. Let's go! Welcome, my friends, to Joseph's Big Rug Emporium. Everything to put on your floor. What's the difference between a carpet and a rug? About $1.99 a yard. My friends, still sleuthing, I see. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. My rugs are such a mess. Rugs that look alike should be put together. Could you help me organize them? See how nice my rugs look? I could stand here and look at them all day. Oh, that's enough of that. Thank you. Here, my friends, a gift for you. A little something I found that might help you in your mission. Thanks, Joseph. Suspects and clues. A UFO model. Well, this may have been dropped by a model citizen or a suspect. Well, that's enough shopping for now. We can always come back after we solve this mystery. Yalla! That means let's go! This looks familiar. Sure does, Scoob. We're back to where we started. Let's go, gang! Those tracks are really strange. Back to the boat. Fresh fish. That's right, Scoob. Back to the ocean blue, eh, Scoob? Ahoy! It's a river. Ahoy there! Did you hear something? Ahoy! Huh? Like, it's coming from the boat. Get me out of here! Sounds like somebody's in trouble. Pull me up, won't you? Click on a fish, and you can throw it into the barrel. When there's just enough fish in the barrel, the weight will pull me up. Well done! Keep at it, you'll get it soon enough. Well done! Keep at it, you'll do heavy, my friends! Try again! Well done! Keep at it, you'll get it soon enough. Well done! Ahoy there! Did you hear something? Ahoy! Huh? Like, it's coming from the boat! Get me out of here! Sounds like somebody's in trouble. Pull me up, won't you?
click on a fish and you can throw it into the barrel. When there's just enough fish in the barrel, the weight will pull me up. Keep at it. Well done. Keep at it. Well done. Well done. Keep at it. You'll get it soon enough. Well done. Well done. Well, thanks, my mateys. You've saved me from quite a scare. Some bandagey bandit pushed me down that hole. M mommy Hmm, it might have been at that. I'm glad you came along. You use those ropes like an old sea hat. I'm Ishmael Masthead. I ferry cargo boats across the Nile. What do you carry? Oh, well, this and that. What are you folks doing around these parts? We're searching for clues about the mummy. Well, that's scurvy scum, eh? Seems there's been a lot of interest for that lately. I've seen some folks digging around the old ruins. I didn't like the looks of them, I'll warrant you. Whereabouts be the... Uh, where might we find these ruins? So jump in my skiff and I'll take you over to have a gander. Huh? He means get in the boat. Aye, it's a fine day for a sail. That'll be two pounds fifty. Why, thank you. I have lost a little weight. We do. He means pounds as in money. Here you go, sir. Well, I don't want you to leave empty-handed. Well, here's something that might help you with your clue finding. I found it down on the quayside. Suspects and clues. This patch makes a lovely accessory. Who could have dropped it? Jeepers! Just look at this place! It looks like there's a major archaeological dig going on here. Like I wonder what they're looking for. Whatever it is, something tells me it has something to do with this mystery. Like, what's this stuff? It's charcoal. And you can write with it. Let's take it along. Back on the boat, everybody! I'm sorry you didn't find what you were looking for. Like we're not empty-handed. Empty stomach. Don't worry. I have a feeling we'll be back. Crumbling cod, I forgot to give you your change. Here's some Egyptian coins. Those could be useful. Here you go, then. <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's keep moving. Great. This is starting to look familiar. It looks like we're heading back into town. Hungry? Like, could we eat this time? Like with all these shops, surely we can get some Scooby snacks somewhere. Yeah, wax. Oh, I could go for a glass of a seer. Like, gazoonite. A seer means juice. Hello? Anybody got any food in here? Like, I don't know about that. Like, let's check it out. I love a good game. Yeah. To stop the spinning lights, press the big button. Around and round and around she goes. Where she stops determines what prize you win. What a cheeseburger! Cheeseburger! to keep one step ahead of the mummy.
Let's keep moving. We should check out what's inside. Let's split up. Daphne and I will go check out this room. Jeepers! Just look at this place! You said it, Daphne. I wonder what all these statues represent. I remember reading that they represent the important characters in the Pharaoh's life. Some are mythological figures, some are friends, and some are servants. This looks like some sort of map. It looks like the map of an archaeological site. Look here, Daphne. This map might lead to something important. This could come in handy. If only we had some way to take it with us. It looks too heavy to move. We have the napkin and the charcoal, Fred. Let's use them to trace this map. It's working. And look, there's some writing coming through. The poinsettia stone. I bet this is a clue. It sure is. Now we can take a copy of the map with us. That goes back to the hallway. Let's go. Let's move, gang. Let's move, gang. Like total deja vu. Let's go, gang. Back to the boat. Fresh fish. That's right, Scoob. We've got to get over to the ruins. Maybe Captain Masthead will give us a lift. Call me Ishmael. Call me tomorrow. Call me what you like, but don't call me late for dinner. Hoping to do better this time? Like this time, we know what we're after. The stone. The poinsettia stone. And this time, we have a map. Let's have another look around. I hope Scooby's paws don't get tired. Okay, Scooby, dig up by the rock wall. According to the map, the poinsettia stone must be there. Scooby Dooby Doo! Go, Scooby-Doo! Let's get that stone out of here. Let's get this stone across to the other side. That's quite a lumper you're kipping across the river. And we're carrying a heavy stone, too. Yeah, heavy. Let's get this stone over to the Sphinx. Come on, gang. Let's go back the way we came. Let's go. We're going back to the back. Like I can get behind that. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. Hey, look. These symbols are the same ones from the poinsettia stone. Let's press the symbols on the wall in the same order as they appear on the poinsettia stone. That's it. It looks like something's happening. <laughs> Zoinks! Let's get out of here! <laughs> Wait! It's some sort of door! And it's opening! Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. White Zoinks! It's not just creepy, it's dark and creepy. Well, creepy! This room is kind of small. There must be another room. Look for a door. 
This flashlight does the trick. In we go. Scooby Dooby Doo. Like, check out this groovy carving. It looks like the sun. And look here. There's a piece missing. There's a piece missing from this carving shaped like a scarab. Let's see if we can find it. Well, gang, we have the whole scarab medallion. Let's see if it fits. It couldn't hurt. Huh? What am I saying? Of course it could hurt. It fits perfectly. Science. It's a door. The medallion was the key. It's my cousin. It's Thelma. Gad Sooks. Boy, am I glad to see you, Cousin Velma. I've been locked up here for ages. Locked up? But who did this to you? Oh, I never got a good look at who it was. They grabbed me from behind. But I've got my ideas. Let's keep searching, gang. We're sure to find some answers. <laughs> the mummy! <laughs> Who do you think the mummy is? Make your selection on the screen. Look, a We're Not in Kansas Anymore t-shirt. Most folks around here weren't in Kansas to begin with. Most folks. Starry Skies! That's right, guys. Starry wants to prove the existence of alien life. But she needed to fund her research. Once she kidnapped Thelma, she was sure that she could scare everyone away and make off with the hidden treasure. But she got sloppy. Now she's getting busted for her pyramid scheme. And I would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. Well, I see we found our mummy. That's right, officer. Scooby Dooby Doo! <laughs> Do you really have to leave so soon? We haven't had time to catch up. Oh, I'm sorry, Velma, but I've got more mysteries to investigate. And so do we. Like where you off to now? Addis Ababa. I've heard about a buried treasure there guarded by a zombie. Zombie? Y you run right along. Hey, we'll stay here. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Shaggy. There are no such things as zombies. That's what I keep telling him. Goodbye, Thelma. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.
How could you run your store if you ran around and forgot your cash register paper? A paintbrush? Say, now where have we seen that lovely shade of blue around here? Joseph? 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 Just as we suspected. That's right, gang. Our pal Joseph wanted to get his hands on the treasure, just like we thought. His business wasn't doing well, so he came up with an insidious plan to scare everyone away from the pyramids, giving him time to make off with a fortune. But he got careless. Thank goodness his evil scheme came unraveled. I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you meddling kids. Good work, folks. He nearly got away with it. Sorry, Joseph. There's got to be a better way to scare up a fortune. Scooby-dooby-doo! Hmm, a monogrammed luggage tag. Who's the tourist that's leaving clues for us? What a shot! It's a photograph of Thelma at the dig site. Who's that she's with? This monogrammed artifact brush just might earn somebody a brush with the law. It seems a little bird-brained to just leave your feathers lying around. Someone must have been in an awful hurry. A name tag from a tour group. Can't quite make out the name, though. The turnbuckles! It was you all along! Huh? We knew it! That's right, gang. The turnbuckles learned about the treasure from Thelma, then cooked up a scheme to scare everyone away. That way they could make off with the treasure undisturbed. But this mummy came undone. They got careless. I would have had it all. Power, fame, fortune. Gosh darn it. I told you we were getting carried away, Edna. All this greed and avarice and whatnot. Looks like you'll be going back to Kansas without anything to show for your trip. Except shiny new handcuffs. You said it, Shaggy. And we would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, well, well. Looks like we found our mummy. That's right, officer. A couple of would-be thieves who couldn't get things wrapped up. Scooby-dooby-doo! What a fancy button. It's got a nice anchor on it. Who would have this weighing them down, I wonder? A map of the Nile? Looks like some sailor lost their navigating tool. Looks like we found a clue. Anyone who loves aliens enough to buy this keychain probably would like to have it back, but... A fish hook. Some crusty old salt will want this back. Ugh, these bandages are all wet. Mummy should stay away from the water. Ishmael Masthead? Huh? huh? All right, we knew it. Well, I see our mummy has been captured. What's the story? Well, officer, Ishmael's ferry business wasn't doing very well. So he hatched a scheme to steal the hidden treasure. Once he kidnapped Thelma, he decided to scare off everyone else so he could plunder the pyramids in peace. That's right, Fred. And he sure got sloppy. You found the stuff he dropped. And I would have gotten away with it. If it weren't for you meddling kids. Looks like instead of counting your riches, you'll be heading up the river. Scooby-dooby-doo! 